guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be doing Q&A with the U. For the last two weeks, I've been doing a Q&A with the U leaders, and the same concept we used in that video, we'll be using it today in this video. Now, here are the youths that will be doing this video. Hello, my name is Kiani Henry, and I attend East New York Church of God of Prophecy. Hello, um, my name is Ty. I come from East New York Church of God of Prophecy. Um, What's up, y'all? My name is Brother Joshua, and I go to Agape Love Church in Middletown, New York. Good morning, my name is Joanna McKenzie and I'm from the Lamaha Street Fellowship. Hi guys, my name is Fiona James. I am from Church of God of Prophecy in Guyana. My name is Felicia James and I'm from the Church of God of Prophecy in Guyana. Now guys, those are the youth that will be participating in this video and we'll get straight into question one. Question one is, why did you choose Christ? I chose Christ because I realized there's no life without him. I knew that anything I was dealing with, I couldn't get over without him. I knew that anything that I wanted out of life, I couldn't do without him. And he's the head of my life. So I know this is the best decision I've ever made. I chose Christ because I know that following him was the best way for me to go to heaven and not hell. I chose Christ because my life absolutely 100% sucked before I got to know him. I was really depressed. I had a lot of things negatively affecting my mental health, um, from stress in school to stress in my family. I just had a lot going on. And when I truly experienced the Lord's presence for the first time, I saw that he just wiped all of that away. And ever since I've grown that relationship with him, he's continued to just wipe those things away as I've turned my attention to him. I chose Christ because I realized that my life without him is a total mess and there is nothing more there's nothing more pleasing, there's nothing more fulfilling than knowing God as my personal Lord and Savior. And besides we were created to serve him. We were basically created in the essence to serve him. And operating outside of that is kind of operating outside of our function as human beings. I have been in church my entire life, living with a pastor and a minister of the gospel. I've always admired their relationship with Christ and wanted to experience that relationship and love of Jesus Christ it talks about for myself. So I grew up in a Christian household. My father is a pastor and my mom is a minister. And growing up, I've always seen their relationship with God. I've always been around persons who had a relationship with God. So I've always aspired to have a relationship with God like the way they have. Also, um, I've also seen God work through them and I wanted God to work through me. Also, because I want to go to heaven. So that's why I chose Christ. Question two is, from an outside point of view, people may think that the Christianity life size is boring, but what are some things you do to entertain yourself while still following the will of God? I have game nights with my friends. I still listen to music and I still dance and do everything I do. I just tweak it a little bit. I go roller skating, I do amusement parks, and I read and watch YouTube. So there's a lot of things I can still do while following God. I stay entertained while following God by like talking to my friends about him. So we have like meaningful, meaningful discussions about like life or living uh, a Christian life. Something I do to keep myself entertained while still staying in the will of God. So first I'll address this. I feel like quite often Christianity and a relationship with the Lord kind of gets put into a box. And it says that if you can't do this, you can't do this. So there's no such thing as having fun. I live a fun life and I am saved. The Lord has my heart. And I just want to address that and make sure you guys know that you can still live a fun life, a pleasurable life, and still be living for God. So some things that I'm into. I'm trying to get into music. Um, I'm really enjoying learning the piano. I am addicted to plants. This is something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, gardening, stuff like that. Uh, I love worship. I love singing worship songs. I love going to worship concerts. And I really just like going to church. That's just, that's what keeps me entertained. That's what pleases me. And that's something that pleases the Lord. Now, I'm a secondary school teacher and there are not much things that I can do to keep myself entertained. But I find pleasure in um, reading find pleasure in listening to music and actually listen to a whole lot of sermons but there are other stuff you know they're not everything is not um yeah not, not too compelling weird. i love listening to my favorite genre of gospel music and also i would go on youtube and watch christian youtubers just to educate myself more about the christian faith 
well for me i always loved uh christian rock well rap in general so i found christian rappers that can influence me in a good way also um i joined tiktok and i follow christian tiktokers as well and on social media i follow a lot of christian influencers to keep myself you know contained in christ question three since you have chosen christ do you regret it no i do not regret choosing christ it was the best decision i made it's allowed me to grow within myself within him and constantly continue to be a better person no i do not regret it because it's helped god has helped me through many situations in my life absolutely not um like i said before my life completely sucked before i got to know the lord and now that i've gotten to know him things have only improved you know getting to know the lord is being introduced to peace and true joy and the way you handle situations and how easy it is to endure trials and tribulations everything just changes like he changes everything for the better and that's why i don't regret getting to know the lord at all absolutely not i have never yes and there were times when i've doubted but because of experiences and because of things i have encountered in my life i realized that there's nothing better than serving god literally there's nothing better than serving god my life i'm the way i am i have the personality i have because of god and i love this no i do not regret choosing christ because when i look back he has brought me through from a lot of danger he has saved me from a lot of danger sorry and if it wasn't for him i would have been dead so yeah. honestly i don't because i've seen a lot of blessings for myself and for my family since i've been doing stuff for christ um i was able to meet a lot of people um and i've done a lot of things for god that i'm extremely proud of and it has also sheltered me from a lot of things. So, no, I do not regret choosing Christ. That's it for the video, guys. Shout out to all the youth that participate in the video. I thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. We'll be back on Saturday with Bible Study Saturdays. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe. Peace.